Good morning, Fit. Well, today is Friday, February 21st, 2020. My name is Lydia Platt. And I'm Brady Ritchie. And we're bringing you your morning news here from the Daily Howl. Mock interviews will be on February 25th. All students grade 9 through 12 will interview. The rubric and sample questions are on the Wolves Den classroom. You must be in professional dress for your interview. The Silicaga Kiwanis Club will have their 66th annual pancake breakfast on Saturday, March 7th from 6.30 until noon at Silicaga High School's cafeteria. Key Club members are encouraged to come by and work. All community members are encouraged to stop by as well. Tickets are available at the door for $5. And now we're going to swing it on over to Stephen McElroy with your weather for the day. Good morning, fellow. Hope everyone's having a wonderful morning. So today, your high is going to be around 48 with a low around 27. So it's going to be cool, as you can tell. Um, you know, uh, definitely sunny instead of all that rain we've been having. I'm glad, I'm glad that we're not having any more rain, uh, for right now at least. It's supposed to start raining uh, Sunday night into Monday, and it's supposed to rain Tuesday and Wednesday. Uh, so at least we get two full days of sunshine, and then we have some clouds that start to build in on Sunday. So uh, enjoy it while it lasts, and uh, now I'm going to throw it back to Brady and Lydia with the rest of your morning announcements. Thank you, Stephen. For those that are interested, the sign up for the 2020-2021 varsity basketball team are in Coach Reed's room. Please be sure to come out and support your local key club at their very first spirit night. It will be held at Cup of Grace Saturday, February 29th from 2.30 to 3.30. 10% of proceeds will go towards Children's, Hosp Children's Hospital. Goal of $2,800. Don't forget to say Spirit Night at the register. And now we're going to swing out on over to me for your word of the day. Good morning, Fayetteville, and welcome back to Word of the Day. Today's word is assess, and this means to evaluate or estimate the nature, ability, or quality of something. Oh. Okay. We're just going to roll with that as our example. Brady here just decided to throw some tape in, <laughs> so it's like assessing his ability to have good aim. He has very good aim. His aim will be considered good, excellent, or any other qualifications, and that is an assessment of his aim. All right, thank you for watching, and now we're going to swing it back over to our anchor. Thank you, Lydia. Anytime. All right, all 6th or 8th grade students who are interested in JV soccer, we will have a meeting on Tuesday, February 25th at 2.30. The location will be announced that day. FBLA members, please turn your state conference commitment form into Miss Terry by February 24th. The junior high basketball sign-up sheet will be outside of Coach Moore's door until Monday, February 24th. Tryouts will be Wednesday, March 4th, right after school. You must have a current physical on file to try out. A thankful heart is a happy heart. Show your thankfulness to a community member today. All right, thank you all for watching, and just remember, you heard it first here on From the Daily Howl. Howl. Welcome to Today in History. Now, Today in History, in 1948, NASCAR was incorporated. Now, of course, I'm sure most of y'all are already familiar with NASCAR, considering this is Federal High School. But NASCAR stands for the National Association for Stock Car Auto Racing. And it started off as a way for people to illegally run moonshine during Prohibition. Because they needed to distribute their product and not get caught by the police, so they fixed up their cars so they could have better handling speed and cargo capacity. Now, even once Prohibition ended, people in the South, of course, had a taste for moonshine at this point. So, they would still run moonshine, but not because it was a not because alcohol was illegal, but because they didn't want to get taxed by revenues. Because, you know, they had to find another way to make it illegal, or it just wouldn't be worth it. So they were still Ill illegally running moonshine people in the South. But by the late 1940s, a lot of these uh, reinforced and lightened streetcars had become being used for races that and they were being raced for either money or just the pride of winning and you know of course that led into NASCAR as we know it today and one driver that began as a bootlegger and then became a NASCAR driver was Junior Johnson who was a 1950s NASCAR driver from Wilkes County North Carolina now NASCAR has a lot of history behind it, and I could go on for hours about it, but we don't have that much time. So I hope you all enjoyed, and have a great day.